<clears throat> Some people have been asking how it went with my issues that I had with eBay or with a product which I'd got from eBay. So I bought a, a Nikon D700 with battery pack um, and I, after using it for a little while and testing it out, I found out that it was defective. There was something wrong with the additional battery pack, however there was something also potentially the battery pack connection to the camera or the camera to the battery pack or something. Either way, I would take a couple of photos, then suddenly no, fo no, no power. Either with the eight cell, eight batteries that you put in or with the, um, the actual camera battery that you normally put in. Just didn't work. So, um, the what I can say is finally it's been resolved. The massive problem that I've had is that it's finally. So in other words, so it started. Uh, I've got my my list of emails which I had to reply back to instead of, and I'd done full videos explaining how the camera was defective, showing exactly how it wasn't working. Um, and I would get, what do you call it, cookie cutter reply back. I'm just saying, have you read the instruction manual? Have you put the battery in the right way? And I'm like, I've sent you an actual video of it not working. I did an unboxing and even at the instant of unboxing, I noticed that there was a fault straight away and I sent you that video. In fact, I sent you several private videos where I thought, hey, we could work it out where maybe we can just do a refund for a part of it, maybe just take the money off for the uh, for the actual battery pack. Um, but in the end, you were like, no, oh, I think I think you've changed your mind. And that's what, pissed, that, that's what really got my uh, nerves. Um, so it seemed like it just was not going to be resolved. Um, so the seller said, hi, thanks again, thanks for the videos. It sounds as if you're a professional photographer with lots of equipment. Yes, I am. What's I got to do with anything? I am a hobby photographer and stand by my description of the equipment I sold to you. Unfortunately, that's fine, but it's defective when I got it. The camera was fully serviced by Nikon, as in the description, and it was fully tested by me before posting it for sale. Well, you didn't actually test it. Um, I showed you tests where it didn't actually work. Um, I've tried very hard to be helpful, but rather than continue back and forth, yes, here is what I propose. If you return the entire lot um, with the items in the box, blah, 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 you'll get your money back. It's like, finally, so that was the 30th of March, and I sent it off by the, 31st, no, the 7th of April, so about a week later because I... I just couldn't go to the post office. Where was I? I was on holiday. Um, and then it said, by the 18th of April, so so from the 7th of April, I had no camera. It took until the 18th of April until the, ish, the seller issued a refund. However, the refund didn't come straight to me. It sat in my PayPal account for, I think it was two weeks. All it said was, um, pending. I was just like, okay, where's my £700? I'm seeing it there. It's like £700 on the 18th of April. That's when it said, it's even seen completed on the 18th of April, but I couldn't use it. It was £700 pending. And it was pending for two and a half weeks. So only on May the 1st <laughs> did I actually get the refund of my money. Which for me is not so much of a problem because I've got other cameras, other lenses that I can use. But if, let's say money's an issue and £700 that you spent and fought for getting your refund for, you're waiting for almost, for me that was over a month of having defective camera, can't use, trying to get money back. Instead of just being able to go back to the store, like let's say you buy from a shop, Hello, it's not working. Look, I'll show you. It's not working. Can I get my money back? Yes, certainly, sir. There's the money. In equivalent of 20 minutes, this took over a month before I could get my money, before I could get my hands on my money back. It's just massively put me off doing any more stuff on PayPal. It's really just... Or, or I think anybody that's that's not a professional seller 
um, you know, sending them photos and everything. The captain's just saying, I think you've changed your mind. And I'm like, no, I'm showing you that it's broken. So, yeah, my paper, let's see, purchase history. The other companies I've done from have been absolutely fine. Ka Ka Kacha, Kacha, Tamron, no problem. Um, other companies that have bought stuff from, just generally no problem whatsoever. Um, but yeah, just when you have a seller who's saying, no, it's fine, I sent it. And I'm going, I'm showing you exactly how I unboxed it and instantly it wasn't working. It can be very, very frustrating. Um, so all I can say is everyone out there, if you are buying anything off eBay, do an unboxing video so that you can cover your own back um, and if there is any, and test your camera out thoroughly as soon as you get it so that you can find out if there is any faults uh, with it. Do everything from using the flash to changing the battery to charging charging it up to transferring images. Do, do everything that you can to find out if there's anything wrong because there is time limits on when you can start returning stuff. Um, so eBay at the moment is a <laughs> I've got my money sitting in my PayPal account. I'm just kind of going, just just gotta leave it there for a wee while, cause uh, cause you know just that's uh, I, I'm a little bit off PayPal. See if I can pay for stuff off Amazon. Amazon easy, so easy. So it's more expensive, but it's so easy. PayPal and eBay. Uh, I'm tiptoeing through eBay now. So that's my experience. So yeah, definitely got my money back. Managed to prove that it was absolutely their fault. Um, but it was over a month of not having the cash flow or the camera, which for some photographers could be massive problems. There you go. Cheers. Bye-bye.